I'm just adding this in because this afternoon I got a message from YouTube and they were letting me know that I have reached 100 subscribers and I just wanted to say thank you to my subscribers um, for helping me reach this milestone. I really appreciate you and uh, I look forward to, you know, the things that are coming up and, uh, you know, like I said, I can't, I can't say thank you enough and that is not the big confession, but thank you. Hello my dears, it's me, ordinary girl trying to be fabulous and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my subscribers and welcome to my non-subscribers. I hope you are, if you are not subscribed, you will consider doing so. And um, if you enjoy my content and even if you don't enjoy my content, because I'll never tell. And Annie and Olivia say hello as well. And um, I used to have like this stuff where I would go in and talk about everything on my channel, but I made a little short video and so I don't bog down y'all with, you know, this stuff. And here goes my doggies. Oh, and Olivia and Annie, thank you too. They do. So, I have a confession. And who doesn't love a good confession, right? Who doesn't love a good confession? Olivia said she does. She loves a good confession. She loves a good gossip. She loves it when other little Japanese chins get come to her and spill their tea. But, um, I used to really hate Hallmark Christmas movies. And, um, I thought that's what my dad was watching. And don't get me wrong, I still don't like Hallmark Christmas movies because... Uh, I don't have the Hallmark channel and I'm not I'm not in a hurry to get it or add it to the cable package or whatever um but I have been watching and my dad watched them before me we've been watching just about every other day um Netflix Christmas movies and I like them I do. I like them. I thought they were silly and vapid and just silly. No, I said silly. And, um, come to find out, they're not that horrible. They're actually kind of good. They actually have a storyline and the, the plot is different in each movie. I mean, you know, seriously, come on. You know... It's a Christmas movie, so you know that um, somebody's falling in love. So, that that's... But, uh, yeah, the plots are different. And, um, they're kind of cool. I'm surprised at myself. I thought I would never, never like any type of silly Christmas movie. But these are cool. And I tell you what, I've been sitting there watching them and, you know, the waterworks start, the, the eyes start to water, the sprinkles start to come out, and I'm sitting there thinking, oh, you dumb Netflix movie, don't you dare make me cry. And sometimes they do, which is, to me, if you can get me in my feelings, is a sign of a good movie. So, um... I still don't like Hallmark Christmas movies, and I will never forgive Hallmark for making a modern version of Pride and Prejudice, because I don't see how Pride and Prejudice can translate to modern days, because it can't. Um, it can't. So Hallmark is not off the hook. Hallmark movies are still awful. Um... So with that, I'm going to log off and I'm going to say, uh, if you have Netflix, watch some of their Christmas movies. They're feel good, they're silly, they're not horrible, and 
and you know they're kind of cute so yeah so watch some netflix christmas movies and watch them with your family pop some popcorn have some family time they're pretty neat okay thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye you want to come here Oh, she's being shy. Sweet little, sweet little Annie's being shy.